Li Shangjie is one of many panic-stricken large dog owners in Beijing. Her dog is one of a number of recently banned breeds, a Samoyed. She's already moved home, away from the urban district, in a bid to avoid her dog being confiscated by the police. Uh, we know that Starting from early June this year, the local government has strictly enforced a ban on large and vicious dogs, which actually dates back to regulations on dog ownership for Beijing municipality from 2003. <laughs> 所以呢,就出现了这种养狗呢,很多人因为高额的费用就不办着,造成一个管理上的很大的缺失。那么在2003年开始呢,就修改了一个法规叫北京市养犬管理条例。There has been a spate of dog attacks in China in recent years. In June this year, a six-year-old girl was killed by a Tibetan mastiff in northeast China's Liaoning province. In 2012, there were around 2,400 accidents involving dog attacks. A number of rabies-related deaths have also led to the implementation of the stricter ban. Along with downtown Beijing being overpopulated, the idea to ban dogs over the height of 35 centimetres seems like an acceptable standard. Yoko but animal experts think the size of dogs shouldn't be directly related to their level of ferocity. Some local organizations have called for an amendment to the dog restrictions, advocating a more scientific and humane solution to regulating dog ownership. In response to the ban, the International Fund for Animal Welfare has conducted some research on dog management in Beijing. In fact, IFA has done a survey in 2003 um, this concerning the citizens in the Beijing area in rural and suburban areas. We found that only 2% of people state that they think big-sized dogs severely affect, affect their life. And what really affects people's life would be dog poop in the city. But there is no effort made on this to make the city cleaner. And really, what's really important would be 74% of people state that they support stopping the size ban. And instead, they, they think 
um, asking the dog owners leash their dog and even wear a dog mask will be more positive. We, n we understand that we're trying to solve the issues that's aroused by dog keeping. However, not allowing people to have certain dogs will not, will not solve the problem. It's the dog owners who are causing the problem. It's the dog owners being irresponsible. Animal experts have found that in many foreign countries there are stricter punishments for dog owners. Rather than confiscating the large dogs directly, they suggest promoting responsible dog ownership and punishment for irresponsible dog owners.那么我们其实在尤其像还有中东地区像比如像以色列他们这些国家呢都有一个共性在管理狗的问题上其实是主要是针对人的一种管理而并非仅仅简单的说是对犬只的一种管理以美国为例你如果是以大型犬你的犬